Hello YouTube. I am back here again doing some network testing. I am currently back into my own hometown in the country of all places testing uh, tonight Verizon versus T-Mobile. So as you can see on the screen, this is cell mapper to get an idea about where the cell sites are for each uh, operator. On the left is T-Mobile. On the right is Verizon. As you can see on Verizon, I am in Eastern North Carolina. So you could tell that I am in the country. I am on the edge outskirts of the coastline. That's where I'm from. So I'm going to zoom in. That's zooming out. As you can see, I am in super rural area, North Carolina. Can't get any more rural than where I'm at. And I'm sitting in the same exact spot. And we're at a gas station in the middle of my little town. So we're going to speed test Verizon versus uh, T-Mobile. And go. And currently, this is way more surprising than I thought it would be. Almost, let's see, 191 down. Verizon was 53.2 down. And 14.4 up for T Mobile. And 4.8. 7.9 for Verizon. Let's see what the rest of the tests yield for us. Speed test. Uh, we are seeing some, a lot of speed in this little town. I uh, have not been home for three years and I was not expecting that. So T-Mobile is trying to light up N41 everywhere and that is the only way you can get above 200 is N41. So T-Mobile 301 down 14.4 up Verizon 69.3 down 3.31 up now since I've been back home I have been driving around different towns and checking to see how much of a coverage is there is coverage gaps not gonna even act like this is uh, showing off there are major coverage gaps but they haven't touched all the sites. They switched them over so T-Mobile can roam on the Sprint sites. But they're still um, working on these sites down here. But as you can see, 290 on Fast. I'm still getting 4.1 on LTE for Verizon. And then we're going to do Imperv. And go. Three hundred plus. Verizon is not to sneeze at, but they need to take this um, competition seriously because T Mobile is coming for them. Alrighty, we've moved on to the browsing test. The network down here is pretty solid. A lot better than I thought it would be. I'll try to center this. 
Moving on to video. And the 360p is done for T-Mobile and it's starting up for Verizon. I'm still doing more testing, but my preliminary is this little town, they're planning on supplying this with uh, fixed wireless. There's enough antenna cluster and potential uh, cell sites to be able to pull this off from what I'm seeing right now. All right, so 447 down, 20.27 up. Browsing and streaming is very good in this location. Verizon is 85 down and 6.32 up. So the last test is PUBG. Alrighty. Did they change it? Yeah, they changed it. There we go. PUBG Mobile. Install, install. Over the network and go. So, in this little sleepy town that I'm from, Verizon needs to show up or they're going to lose this fixed wireless game before it gets started. All right, we're at 35 to 11 percent, 55 to 12 percent. 80 to 14 percent 94 to 19 percent and finished t-mobile finished first verizon is still on 30 percent i was not expecting these speeds coming from um t-mobile in this location I am in super rural North Carolina, coastal Eastern North Carolina. So Verizon is gonna have to step it up from my point of view. But thank y'all for watching this. And I'm looking to keep on testing in the rural area while I still got some time. And uh, hit like on the video if this helped you. And leave a comment below if you got anything to say. Y'all have a good evening.